Hi there, I'm Peter Hofstetter and welcome to this edition of Certus Learning. For several years now, the Building Codes Board has publicly stated they want to see an increased use of performance solutions. However, the only generally accepted protocol available is the full-blown fire engineering report, and this is regularly used for big projects. However, if the industry is to increase the use of performance, then we need a simple approach for simple solutions. Is it possible that such a way already exists? To tackle this question, we'll examine the concept of expert judgment. To do this, we're going to begin with a little certification 101. The first clause of NCC 2016, clause A01, states, compliance with the NCC is achieved by satisfying the performance requirements. The second clause, A02, states that the performance requirements can only be satisfied by a performance solution or a deemed to satisfy solution or a combination of both. No prizes for guessing the number of the next clause, which states that a performance solution must comply with the performance requirements or be at least equivalent to the deemed to satisfy provisions and be assessed according to one or more of the assessment methods. And that brings us to the point of today's topic, because two of the assessment methods are comparison with the deemed to satisfy provisions and expert judgment. Expert judgment means the judgment of an expert who has the qualifications and experience to determine whether a performance solution or deemed to satisfy a solution complies with the performance requirements. Clearly, there are different experts for different situations. For example, the appropriate expert to design a variation of the hydrant standard would be a hydraulic engineer. The appropriate expert for synthesizing multiple variables in fire and life safety systems would be a fire engineer. But if we're looking at a simple performance solution using comparison with the deemed to satisfy provisions, is it possible that the appropriate expert could be the building certifier? Now I know that some writers of legislation believe that the implementers of legislation, such as certifiers, should only be administering the deemed to satisfy provisions in a regulatory way. Those legislators seem to believe that making a performance decision could be a conflict of interest and that a certifier may use the performance provisions to bend the rules in favour of their client. Those legislators believe that the certifier cannot be impartial when they're being paid by the same people on who they're expected to enforce the legislation. In fact, that is the great dichotomy of being a private certifier, the need to achieve building compliance and still have a satisfied client. Not always easy, but it's manageable. There's even a suggestion by some that a certifier can only review a performance decision but not write one. Is that reasonable? There are many circumstances that require a certifier to make a judgment call rather than to simply say, that doesn't comply, change it. Level 1 certifiers are degree qualified, as are all the specialist consulting engineers. The Building Act in each state mandates that a building certifier is the appropriate person to administer the Building Act and the NCC. And as we stated at the outset, complying with the NCC means complying with the performance requirements. Therefore, doesn't the Act empower the certifier to make decisions with respect to the performance requirements? In order to provide some context for this suggestion, let's take the situation where the approved plans show a one metre wide fire corridor. And during an inspection, the certifier sees that a column is protruding such that the width is reduced to less than a metre, say 920 mil. Assuming that moving the column or wall is not an option, is it really necessary to engage a fire engineer to model queuing times and egress flow rates and then submit the whole thing to the fire brigade for acceptance? I don't think so. The deemed to satisfy provisions allow for the egress width to be reduced at a doorway to 750 mil. So option one is that the certifier could require that a door frame and door be installed at the column. This would make it comply, but be a complete waste of time and money for no net gain in fire safety. In fact, it would slow egress rates because of the door. Why not use expert judgment and document a simple decision to allow the column to remain as is because it is equal to or better than the deemed to satisfy width of a doorway? However, to avoid the suspicion of corruptibility, perhaps it's prudent that another certifier be used to provide an independent review of a decision of expert judgment. A final thought. If these suggestions appear viable, but the legislators are concerned about rogue decision making, then perhaps there could be a requirement for all performance decisions to be lodged at a central repository. That way the Building Codes Board could access all such decisions and may well inform future changes to the deemed to satisfy provisions. Well thanks for watching and remember, 
If you need a quote for certification access or energy, please consider Certus.